The drivetrain on a vehicle transmits the power from the engine all the way to the wheels. If we only went in a straight line, this would be an easy task. But when a vehicle is turning, the wheels rotate at different speeds. The inside wheel turns slower because it is essentially traveling in a smaller circle, whereas the outer wheel is traveling in a larger circle, so it must turn faster to cover the increased distance. So the drivetrain needs to incorporate a component that will allow the wheels to rotate at different speeds when required. That component is a differential. A differential consists of the main ring and pinion gears and a carrier assembly which houses a smaller set of four gears. The term pinion refers to the smaller gear in any gear set. Therefore, the carrier gear set consists of two pinion and two side gears. These carrier pinions are frequently called spider or satellite gears after the way they walk or rotate around the side gears when differential action occurs. Traditionally, the differential was located inside the rear axle assembly, but on front wheel drive and rear engine vehicles, it's located inside the transmission, so we refer to a transmission with an incorporated differential as a transaxle. The action between the gears and the differential allows the wheels to rotate at different speeds, but a standard differential, which is referred to as an open differential, has an inherent weakness. The wheel that spins the easiest, or the wheel with the least traction, is where the differential transfers the power, so it's easy to get stuck on a slippery surface and on a dry surface, acceleration performance is affected. To eliminate this problem, the limited slip differential was developed with clutch packs between the side gears and carrier, so power is transferred to the wheel with the most traction, while allowing just enough slip for the wheels to rotate at different speeds around a corner. As technology advanced over the years, we learned the importance of traction and how it relates to vehicle safety and handling over all road conditions, and controlling differential operation became a critical aspect of traction control and all-wheel drive systems. A modern differential may contain multiple different styles of clutch packs to control not only the differential action, but also the amount of power transferred through it, and some contain their own internal pumps to pressurize the fluid for clutch pack control. The most important thing to remember is to only use the correct fluid or additives recommended by the manufacturer. Anything else may cause damage to the differential. Thanks for watching.